Hey everybody, Venice 01 here. We have some Caspian Border for you here today. And we have Armored Kill for the PS3 coming out in about a week. And then we have uh, Xbox Premium members a week after that. So uh, I'm pretty fucking excited actually. I really can't wait to have a look at Armored Kill. Considering having a go of it on the PC just because the map sizes will be so much bigger. And I think the game does play a little bit better on PC. Uh, I'm not really a mouse and keyboard guy, so I can't really say for sure. If I could use a controller with uh, Battlefield 3 on PC, I would be doing that. However, I don't think that's very possible. I've tried it in the past, and it doesn't work out too well. The mouse really does have the edge on accuracy, so playing against people who have really been using keyboard and mouse for a quite a long time really is uh, not very easy and I don't know how that guy knifed me right then I must have been really hurt not even paying attention but I probably was yeah so playing against the guys with you know five years experience or more with mouse and keyboard it's just not going to work with the controller you're really going to get owned at every corner so not really a, a wise thing to do if you do think about attempting that I wouldn't try it so yeah probably will give it a bit of a look uh, I fucking love the look of the map say eh? the night map the snow map the desert I just really can't wait to get out there and the choppers and the vehicles and I know everybody's pretty excited about the AC-130 um, I'm just wondering how much of a game changer that is actually going to be uh, you control that, you pretty much control majority of the map a bit. A lot of jet pilots are going to be out there and after that as quick as they can. I thought someone was behind me shooting me then, so I swung and nope, the guy was actually in front of me. I had to cut a little bit of this video down too, it went for about 17 minutes and I don't really want to talk for 17 minutes, so I'll cut a bit of it out, you'll see it's kind of a fade transition. But yeah, so AC-130 possible game changer it will be interesting to see how well people utilize that and I bet you a lot of people are going to be running for that flag where the where the station is for it to get into that thing as quick as they bloody can I'll be one of those people too it's my aim so fucking shit oh, I almost got him I reckon but yeah so what are you most looking forward to with Armored Kill? Is it the AC-130? Is it just the map sizes? Which map in particular are you are looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the night map. Uh, Nelson Bay at night was pretty good. Got a little tedious, you know, after playing it for so long, you kind of like, uh, Nelson Bay. However, such a big map being at night, I think it's going to be bloody good. And the snow map, oh, I know. We had to have a snow map, didn't we? You know, it's they're Swedish so they had to give us a snow map but I think that's going to be a very good map too and the desert maps is going to be fucking fantastic I think those wide open spaces new vehicles too the artillery vehicle is going to be interesting to have a look at but the PS3 players will have it a week before us PSC, uh, PS3 PSC, PS3 premium players will be right in there and so a lot of footage will be up I think it's the fourth they get it, I believe. Someone will correct me if I am wrong on that. And there's the fade transition right there, just to cut a bit of the game out. It's a little long, so I just thought I'd cut it down. Very tight game, very close, so I thought oh, I'll put this one up. Had it on my hard drive for a while. But along with the new maps and new game modes, you know, we've got tank superiority, which would be very interesting to look at. Don't know if I'll really be playing that that much, but we'll also be getting a patch. I haven't been able to see the patch notes. There's a few fake patch notes flying around, and um, you know, I'm not gonna look. You know, they will be out. So when they post them, they post them, and I'll bring you a video about that. I may have already posted them. I just haven't really checked. <laughs> so will tank superiority be of any interest to anybody subscribed to me? Which my numbers are kind of dwindling on the sub front. Uh, I guess talking about Firefall in the last Battlefield video didn't work with some people because I lost about 
10 subs off that. So I'll stick to Battlefield this time around. So tank superiority. I think it's going to be an engineer's dream. Uh, you'll just get so many repair points. You know, you have your mines galore. You have everything. And I believe it is only one flag. So it's just going to be a clusterfuck of tanks. Light tanks. All converging onto one area. I do believe in one map uh, I think the guys from GameSpot had played they said it was very easy for the American side to uh, spawn kill the enemy team the Russians and it seemed to be that the Russian team had a bit more of a disadvantage in trying to get to the flag than the Americans did so I hope that's been fixed up and they've you know listen to any of the feedback that people who have played the the mode have given them and make it a little more fairer for everybody to get around the map and get to where they uh where the clusterfuck of action is going to take place and i bet you a lot of the jet pilots out there were wishing for an air superiority game mode which i think dice will probably end up doing and uh actually a really interesting thing i've seen over the last few days is there's been a I guess a couple of mods for PC that people have made or were able to get into the coding and change uh, particle deceleration and uh, a night map. Uh, particle deceleration, that's really interesting to me uh, the way the particles are slowed but the action, you know, everything else is still in real time and you see an explosion and all the particulars, all the particles and that uh, flying you know, left, right, and just nice slow mo. It looks really, you know, Michael Bayish. So that's really interesting. And the night map, it looked a little too dark. However, I think, you know, if someone can get that the balance right with the darkness, uh, I think it was Grand Bazaar. I saw it was very fucking interesting. It looked really good. And uh, bravo to whoever's pulled that off. Okay, so that was a pretty close game right there. You know, rarely had one of those on Caspian Border. I think this gameplay was probably about two months old. And, uh, I don't know, back of my head there, I've got this sneaky suspicion I might have already uploaded this. But, I don't think so, I don't know. So, if someone notices that I have, fucking hell, I apologise, really, I do. Uh, I kind of just grabbed it and chucked it up. So, I'll catch us again next time. Thanks for watching.